ready to go. We have to make sure this is open. This is one of these ones where Oops, I think it's open. <laughs> wow, look at the spread though. Let's just make sure. It's one of these late ones. Okay. It's definitely open. All right, stop's gonna be. Jeez. I'm going to be tight with this. 133.30. Actually, I don't think we need to give it that much room. 133.20. 99. 99 by 20. Do it. Do it right now. It's going to hit. Get the stop in. I'm in. There it goes. You can wait till it breaks if you want. It's going to break any second. Let's just double check the stop. Let's put it at 133.30. I said I said 31st, then I said 20. At 10 cents isn't gonna make a difference. 133.30, IBM. I'm in it, did it break? Oops, no. If you didn't do it, wait for it to hit 99. I'm in it. Have you ever seen a tricky market? FYI, we're lower, but have you ever seen a trickier market in your life, people? We're actually lower. No one believes that but me. I will be right, just like I was right yesterday. We don't have time to go over this now, but talk about tricky. Gold is up today. That's good. All right, here we go. Spread tighten up, but it's definitely open. Keep the stop, though, at the right place. I mean, people, if you don't have conviction in this market, you are just getting screwed every which way from sunshine. You are going long and losing. You are going short and losing. You are boom, boom, boom. Here, if you didn't do this, 99. You have to have conviction or you're basically losing. It doesn't matter how you're trading. You're losing. Here we go. We're winning. Well, I'm not going to miss my exit today. Somebody scream. We need a bell. 129, 128, 127. I went back into that Goldman yesterday and scalped it. It was it didn't make any sense. But the reality is I still should have booked the money from the morning. Had an easy peasy day. Today we're having an easy peasy. 128, 127. It's tempting to add here, isn't it? thought too long. I was thinking about adding more. It's going to go. It's going. Nice call. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where this could go. Four. Actually, we might get a chance to add here. Just wait. Let's add at 50 if you want. Can't move the stop. Doubling up in your position here. Here, you can take more if you want it right in here right now. Put the stop at the same place. We're just trying to make this a bigger trade. I think this could go to 127, 127, 126, 125 today. Just looking at it. But long story short, I'm going to look for 128 with the ad. That'll be a nice trade. 128 and a flush out. Boom, done. Why are people signing into the room a million hours late? 
You can't get the trade if you're coming in late. Mm. All right, IBM. IBM, you gotta be in it if you want it. Let's look at the market. Great call by me with the market yesterday. That Those options I called yesterday could not have had more perfect timing if I was sitting here staring at my screen all day, which I wasn't, but I was doing work and things. Like I had perfect timing in those options trades yesterday, hands down, like perfect. And I didn't even know why we were rolling over when I saw it. Goldman, never kill anything. That's don't kill any trades ever. All right, here we go. We're in it. And I added. But we have to stop at the right place. Anyways, guess what I saw last night? An invisible tick in the market. Took a snapshot of it. Go over that when we're done. In fact, I actually wrote the number down. Here we go, IBM. I didn't even look at the uh, data this morning, it's coming out. It was really, I don't think, it's Netflix is tonight. That's the biggie, here we go, IBM. Let me just see if there is anything. Oh my gosh, we have another late person. <sighs> okay, today is Tuesday, tomorrow is Wednesday. No, everything's out today. Here we go, IBM. Woo! Who did the ad? And then Jeff was asking about this yesterday. Did you you saw that Goldman yesterday? It's exactly why you don't you don't add when something's going against you and you don't give it any more room. Look where that went yesterday. This is a disaster. If you would have doubled up on that or not taken the stop, it felt like a million miles. I was so right. I missed my exit yesterday. I was tired. And guess why I was tired? Because people are poking, smoking pot in my building in the middle of the night and it's waking me up. The smoke is actually waking me up. It's time to move. Here, IBM, IBM. I need to manifest a fabulous apartment soon, now, today. Look at this gorgeous bar. Here we go. We're going to get it to 128, then a big push down, and then we're going to be out wherever it goes. Great call and a beautiful, beautiful ad. Here we go. Hope everybody got it. Got to be in it to win it. Woo. What was the other thing I was going to talk about? Netflix tonight. Yeah, we got to look at that. We gotta look at that right now when we're done with this. Actually. 59. Crap, you can get out of it if you want. You could! I'm gonna try to hold it, but you could! Let's look at Netflix right now. Netflix. I have no idea what this does. I'm not in any trades in it. Of course, I prefer to short, as you know, but I don't know. I don't know what this does. Let's just take a peek what it's doing today. Big rally yesterday, but then retraced it with the market and everything in the afternoon. Sure, this is up today, barely. I don't know what that does. I really don't. I really do not. Here we go, IBM. Here we go, you could be out of it, you could be in it. We're trying to get one more push. No more day to day is gonna help us. Nothing's happening today in the market. The market will wait for Netflix tonight and do whatever today. Didn't even look at why we gapped up, doesn't even matter. You could be out of this. If you don't wanna suffer through a bounce, take it. Take it if you don't wanna suffer. 
Here it goes. Here, here. All right, all right, all right. 128. Did anybody get out of it? Is everybody still in it? 29. Jackie's still in it. Let's look at the market. Let's look at the market. Again, Goldman is up today. That gap should have gone yesterday like crazy. Today it is. This is probably one of the reasons why the market still hasn't fallen off the planet yet this morning. Again, strong financials usually mean a strong market. We really haven't had that for the last seven months. But today this is up. It should have gone yesterday. Let's go look. I still think this is going to fall. Again, with the market today, IBM, with the market falling 125 and beyond, really into the close, people. But I'm not going to be in it till the close. So one more push in this, down into 128 and a flush, and we're done. But with the market today, this is a big target in it. A nice call. Tomorrow is going to be Netflix. I don't know what we're doing in it, though. I don't know if it's going to be a good gap. I don't know till I see it. I'll see it tonight. I'll know the second I see it. Here we go. IBM. Yay! Here we go. John got out here. Waiting for the push under 128. We're close, we're close, we're close, we're close. Come on. Come on, Bootsy. Bootsy helped us yesterday in the options. Seven. Look at the nice extension on the daily. Here. Here we go. Pennies away. Oh, one. Pennies from heaven. Here we go. Come on. Oh, shoot. Come on, break. I want more than that. What do we get? Five cents under it? Here. You could be out. I wanted more than that. 95. My hand is on the button, though. Here. Yay! Here, out! Done! That's good enough for me. I said 128, we got to push her up, but you still could be in it. I said there's a big target in this today. Great job. Here it goes. Woo! I am on point, but we have to have the good gaps. When they're there, we can do them. Jeff's out. Wow, I'm shocked. That, that ad really put the punch in that. And that...